Hello my friends, Erica here today. I'm coming to you with the start of a reading vlog. So stay tuned. Look at these shelves. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the one? The one who has all the books on these shelves. Adventures are told. How many adventures can one shelf hold? Looking around, do you think? Sure, I've got all the books. Okay, so here is my dilemma, okay? I have 228 on red books. That are mine. That I own. And. Um, so in this vlog. I am basically going to be using. A number generator. To pick. Like. Like I have to use the number generator. To pick one book. And I have to read that before. I can use the number generator again. To. Uh, pick another one. So. These here are all my unread books. So when I do pick, do the number generator from 1 to 228, I will basically just start, um, I'm not going to do these because these are my June, part of, for my June reading because I did pick nine, uh, LGBTQ plus books for June. But I'm leaving these open in case I get time to read more. So I'm basically going to start from here and work my way that way. Go from like here and then to these two bottom rows here. So let's get this started, shall we? So obviously if I do end up... Getting a number where it stops like in the middle of a series that I'm in the middle of. I will just pick the next one that I'm supposed to read next. So. Number generator. From 1 to 228. And. Generate. 41. Oh my god. Okay, so hang on a second. I really didn't want to read this one yet, but Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. This is book one of the Vampire Chronicles. I hated the movie. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Uh, so this is the one that I'm going to be concentrating on. Uh, so I will, I will update you when I get some reading done. So later. Y'all, I'm on page 13 and I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. So I am going to DNF this and unhaul it. It's just, I want to love it. I do, but I just am not. I know, I'm not that far in, but I just can't. I just can't. It's just not, it's not my thing. Which is weird. Because I love stuff about vampires and stuff. But this is like. 
on a whole nother level of what I enjoy vampire wise. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. So, I'm going to do the number generator again. So, let's see here. Number generator 1 to 27. And generate. And generate. 153. I got a lot of counting to do. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I counted out 153 and came up with The Locked Door by Frida McFadden. This will be my first Frida McFadden book, and I've heard a lot of great things about her. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Oh, my TV was being weird. But anyway, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I have no idea what this is about. I do not plan on reading the synopsis before I go in so that I can be, you know, surprised. So wish me luck. Hopefully I can get into this one and finish it. So here we go. Okay, so I have an update of The Locked Door by Frieda McFadden. I am now on chapter 17, page 106, so I'm about halfway done. It's 294 pages, so I am really getting into this. I just hope that I didn't guess right because I want to be surprised of who the serial killer is. So, like, her, if it shows in the in the beginning that her father is a serial killer and he's in he's in prison um serving 18 consecutive life years you know 18 lives in prison so he's never getting out um but then he he's sending her letters every week and she never reads them. She just rips them up in four pieces and throws them away. And, um, she comes up, she ends up dating this boy named Brady in college. And he was, like, obsessed with slasher films and everything. And <clears throat> he owned, like, a lot of different masks, like Freddy's mask and Jason's mask and Myers mask and then he ended up bringing out the mask of her father and so she ended up breaking up with him after that even though she never actually told him why she broke up with him but she broke up with him and started avoiding him and stuff so it like jumps jumps back and forth between past when she was 11 to present and she is a doctor. Um, she's basically a surgeon. Um, and Brady right now is working at a bar. And she goes in there almost every night and has an old fashioned, which I don't know what that is. I know it's some type of drink, but... Um, Because I'm, I'm not into alcohol, so I have no idea what an old-fashioned is. Maybe it's whiskey. Maybe it's just, like, a, a glass of whiskey. Um, but anyway. So. She ends up agreeing to going out on a date with Brady. And, and you know, in the present. And, uh. And that's when she remembers why she broke up with him in the first place. And while she was at his apartment, she thought she was going back into his bedroom because they had just, you know. And she thought she was going back into his bedroom, but she ended up um, trying to open the door to his office and it was locked. 
And so I'm getting a, a huge feeling that Birdie is like a copycat killer of her dad. But I don't know. Um, if I'm right, I'm going to be very disappointed. But, um, I mean, it's still a good story. But if I end up being right, because I don't like to... I don't like reading a book and then guessing who might be the serial killer and then they end up being the serial killer and then that just makes me hate the book because it's very predictable. But hopefully it's not predictable. Hopefully that there's just a complete twist and it's some it's someone else. But as of right now, I'm going to guess that it's Brady um, who is copying her father. So we'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to get back to reading. Like I said, I'm already almost halfway through, so I should definitely finish this probably in the next hour or so, hour and a half, something like that. So I will update you here in a little bit. Man, y'all, I just finished this book and that was crazy. I, I, I definitely did not expect that plot twist so I was wrong by the way it wasn't Brady but I'm not gonna tell you who just read the book totally worth it totally worth the wait to find out close to the end of who the killer is that was crazy okay so. anyway I'm gonna think about how I want to rate this like I said it was really good I love the plot twist I may just go ahead and give it five stars. But anyway. Number generator. Aww. I think it's two. Two twenty six, right? So you were yeah. returning that call. I have 226 books left. Mm -hmm. so, so I was thinking that what you were saying this morning. 1 to 226. And generate 42. I'll be back. Okay, so number 42 actually, um, because it was sitting like this, or it was like this, actually landed on. I think book five in this series so I'm of course going to start with book one it's called Dawn of the Clans Warriors the Sun Trial by Aaron Hunter so this is the first book in the series so I'm going to go ahead and get this started and I will Probably won't update you again tonight, but I'm definitely going to make some some progress in it tonight. And then I will update you tomorrow of what I'm thinking of it. So, later. You keep saying you're okay, aren't you? I'm better than okay. Great. Glad to hear it. You know what's funny? You see these peanuts? Two of them stuck together in the shell. Trapped. And then you look here at this one, all on its own, solo, happy. And you're a solo peanut. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Okay, so it is the next day, and I finished uh, Warriors Dawn of the Clans, The Sun Trail by Aaron Hunter and I'm going to give this one three stars. I thought it was decent. So, I mean, you know, not really my cup of tea typically, but three stars is still, you know, an average rating in my opinion. So now I'm going to do the number generator again to pick my next read. So, I'm going to do 1 to 200. Okay. 
because I'm not counting the LGBTQ plus books because I'm going to save those for June. So, and generate 27. I'll be back. Okay, so technically it landed on Peter and the Shadow Thieves, but that's the second book in this series. So I grabbed the first one, which is Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. So, and it's about pirates, which I'm typically not into, but I have been enjoying One Piece and that's pirates, so... So let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. Don't you just love a table of contents? I do. Good morning. So it's the next day. Last night I made a significant amount of progress in Peter and the Star Catchers. I made it to 306. I'm in the process of finishing it up right now and then we will go choose another book. So. Uh, 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 oh. Okay, so it is the next day. It's May 26th. It's 10 a.m. I just finished Peter and the Star Catchers by Barry. Um, by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. I really actually enjoyed this one. I I gave it four stars and I, I definitely want to continue the series. I'm not sure how many books there are, but I own the first two. So I would have to just um, check on that on Goodreads to see how many books are in the series. So anyway, let's, let's get this here number generator back up. I don't know why it's doing that. Number generator. 1 to 199. And generate. Oh, I said and generate. 29. Wish me luck. Okay, so it looks like I landed on the second book in this. I don't know if it's a duology or what. I'd have to look that up, but it's, um, so I picked up the first one since I landed on the second book. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi M. M. Ediemi. So, I had actually read this once before. I don't think I read the whole thing though because I don't think I was getting into it but um, I'm hopefully I can get into it this time so wish me luck on that it's a chunker so we'll see if I can find it on audio since technically I have been reading books physically for the last couple of months, I have, haven't picked up an audiobook in a while, so I'm going to see if I can get my hands on the audiobook for this one. So, I will update you later.
Okay, so I have 61 pages left in Children of Blood and Bone. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another book because we're about to head out to go do laundry. And I'm definitely going to finish it in like the next, mm, I don't know, 30 minutes. Uh, tops. Uh, let's see. Need a number generator. One to one ninety eight and generate twenty six. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like I picked the naming by Allison Krogan, maybe. So kill. So I will definitely be starting this one. Oh, and by the way, I literally only listened via audiobook of Children of Blood and Bone for like the first five chapters, and I switched to physically reading because my head was starting to kill me from listening. So yeah. Anyway, I will update you later. Alrighty. So I just got home from doing the laundry, and I finished two books. While I was there, one of which doesn't have anything to do with this vlog, but, um, I finished Black Bird Volume 14. I didn't have very many pages left, like 40 pages, so I just went ahead and knocked that out. And then I finished Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Emmy Emmy Tommy Eddie Emmy. I, I'm probably just going to go ahead and give this one three stars. Like, I thought it was okay, but it was just not, I don't know, it just really wasn't my cup of tea. But, um, I don't understand because usually I'm typically into, like, stuff like this, but, I don't know, for some reason this one just, it's just not my thing. But I'm still going to go ahead and read book two since I own it. And then, um, of course not in this vlog, unless I pick it when I do another one but so there's that and then I I was gonna start this but then the laundry was done so I'm, gonna, I'm planning to go ahead and start this and cool off for a little bit before I decide to put laundry away and make the bed because to wash the bedding because it was it needed washing it had been a while I think at least a month or so since the bedding had been washed so but anyway, I'm going to go off here, cool off, and do some more reading. So, later. <laughs> so, I'm going to DNF the naming because I'm really not getting into it at all. So, I'm going to pick another book and hopefully I can get into that. Two. Okay. <laughs> It landed on the second book in the Kingdom of the Wicked series, so I'm going to, of course, go with the first one. So, here we go. Oh, there you are. Just so you know, I was up all night. I have finally completed the Betty Twisted Exception. So, I was just letting you know that I am at one of my clients um apartment i'm waiting for the lady who's meeting me here so she can introduce me to her so she said she's running late so and i'm early for everything so i've already been sitting here for like almost 15 minutes <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I knew exactly where it was, so I left the house a little bit earlier. So, anyway, I will update you later.
He didn't do it. And he wanted an unknown though. And then he shot over the city with no one. So I landed actually on volume 4 of Future Diary by Sakai Isand, maybe? So I am picking up the first volume. Let's see what I think of this one. Okay, also I just finished uh, Future Diary by um, volume 1 by uh, Sakai Isand. Is it Isan or is it Isuna? I can't tell if that's an O or a D. Anyway, I think it's an O. Yeah, it's an O. So I gave it four stars. So I need to do the number generator. I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to stop with this vlog because. I got other stuff. Or should I just go ahead and wrap it up now? Because I finished. I don't know how many books that I finished. Hang on, let me go check. So I've finished eight books so far. Maybe I can do it two more times and make it an even ten. I mean, if I do. Unless I get ones that I end up DNFing or something. Uh, let's see. We should buy that from mm. I keep getting mainly um, that whole top cross. So I'm thinking of doing like 80 between 194 we'll do that 194 then 80 and then generate 82 okay so I'll be right back so it looks like I picked forever never by Lucy score sweet so then I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now, do the number generator again. Put in the wrong hand there. There we go. So, number generator. Ninety three and then okay. eighty six. Okay, so eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty. Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm gonna try that again because. It's the library of classic horror stories, and I'm not, not in the mood. Not in the mood. So we'll do... Okay, so it looks like I landed on Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. So these are the next two books that I will be working on. Hopefully the last. So I will get started on this and I will update you guys later. Okay, so I didn't do any updates yesterday. Because I had a busy day, and by the time I got home, I was sore, and I was exhausted, and I didn't care about anything. So I didn't do any reading at all yesterday. But um, the day before, the, 
I did start Forever and Ever by Lucy Score. And I am on chapter 10, page 78. So, hope, uh, I, I may not be in the mood to read today either because I have three clients back to back. Pretty much. Well, I get an hour for lunch. But I have three clients today. All of them I will be cleaning for. And I'm already sore and exhausted and ready for the day to be over <laughs> anyway so yeah that's the update that I wanted to let you know that I just was just too tired and sore yesterday to do anything so I'm gonna try to at least get a hundred pages in today of forever and ever so, anyway, I will get it to right on. Okay, so it is clear that I am not going to be doing any more reading for the rest of the month. I mean, I may try to at least make some more progress in Forever and Ever by Lucy Score, but I, I doubt that I'm going to finish it before the end of the month. It's the 30th. I can't remember if there's... 30 days or 31 days in this month but I'm not very far into it I'm still on chapter 10 page 78 so I, I highly doubt that I will I will get it done I, like I said I'll work on it more today but maybe read another 100 pages or so um, but I doubt I'll finish it I'm just not really in a, a, a mood to read I might just binge watch TV, something on TV, so, but, yeah, so, I did finish eight books, and clearly I'm not even probably going to start Amari and the Night Brothers, I may start it anyway, um, and then, if I don't finish these two books, I'll just let them roll into, um, next month, even though it's, even though it's LGBTQ, you know, even though it's Pride Month, um, I'll I'll just have two books on there that's not that's not considered LGBTQ plus as far as I know. Um but <clears throat> anyway. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below and click that no bell notification to be notified when I post if you want to see more content like this. All of my links are down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. I've got romance and nonfiction, a many. I've got horror and dystopian galore. You want fantasy? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more.